What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Scuba. Here in the, the dungeon, I guess you would call it. Another day in the shop, finishing up. Got the, uh, my weekly tool haul here just laid out. I figured I'd go through some stuff, show you guys a little couple things. It was garbage. You know? Um, but yeah, uh, before we get into it, sorry about the lighting, but the light behind me and all that has got everything all messed up. I figured get a little background shop in the, in the, in the video. Um, got my snap on floodlight doing work, you know? Um, but yeah. So let's get right into it. First thing up we do, got my, uh, it's my little Altel TPMS scanner. This is a 6 TS608. Uh, just did an update to this for 2024, 2023 to 2024. So yeah, that, that was, I guess you call that a tool haul, right? Part of the haul this week. Um, don't mind the mess behind me. Busy day. Yeah, you know, busy in the shop. So uh, we'll start off with these first. So first I got these, the, the Formula 1920 steel wipes. And we're going to give these a run right right now. Right here, live. Uh, a live demo, we call it. How about that? All right. So here we got my LN46. Uh, these are my LN47s, ACHs. Let me get a good light so you can actually see what the fuck's going on here. Excuse my language. Uh, I just had a light. Where'd it go? Um, hmm. Oh, right here. My... My suggestion, personal suggestion to anybody that uses lights like this, these puck lights, this is the eight hour light from Snap-on. I have literally used this all day long on certain days and then leave it on when I go home and come back in the morning and it's still on. So, all right. So as you can see here, we've got the uh, 47s. They got a little bit on them. So we're gonna give the Formula 1920 steel wipes uh, a shot here. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you I can smell the, uh, <clears throat> damn, I smell the difference. Let's see here. Um, from what I'm seeing, um, I don't know, man, I don't think it's doing much. I mean, you can tell it's cleaning, for sure it's cleaning. Um, but as far as the spots they are lightening up a bit but i don't know man um the, the pit they see like the little rust spots on there it's they are lightening up a little bit but uh maybe the hype i mean the rust went away but the black spots are still there let's see man let me see cleans lubricates protects and prevents rust let's see Okay, it says, uh, apply liberal coating via the wipes to all surfaces of your tool. Allow two to five minutes for it to break down. A final wipe, take advantage of the lubrication. So, all right, we'll, we'll leave these here. We'll come back to that. How about that? All right. Also got me a set of the equipment tool and hand towels. I've been using these for the last two three years i know everybody says tub of towels i prefer these um as the, i think they do a better job with the oil and grease and they don't leave such a residue the tub of towels will leave a lot of residue man my lighting really sucks anyways next up we got snap-on's new version of an old classic the hose clamp pliers the hcp 11s um Figured I'd give these a shot. I don't have a set of these, but why not, right? Um, well, that's cool. Okay, I guess. All right, well, I'll try them out there for, uh, you know, the metal hose clamp pliers. I've needed a set of these. Um, my 
regular my older ones are starting to wear out pretty bad and um, they're getting really annoying to use um, next up grabbed me a 27 millimeter snap-on wrench um, been running across 27s a lot lately i used to have a cobalt i cut it up kind of to make a custom tool out of it and this is the piece i had left for it so um this week i, I just been a lot of 27 millimeters so i figured why not grab a big 27 millimeter wrench so i have it um lately as well doing a lot of the euros and uh so i grabbed me the parasitic draw harness and i know it's a rebrand and all that other shit i don't care um so but i'm gonna be using putting this to use this week i've got a uh bmw and i've got a mercedes that has draw, a bad parasitic bra so i'm gonna put this bad boy to work with the uh with my uh power for my number power for my uh jesus christ steven my multimeter Next up, these are fresh off the truck. These are fresh, brand new. Um, this is the Snap-on Mag Dish 10. It is a 10-inch collapsible dish. Um, Snap-on on the inside there. It's pretty nice. Um, I love these dishes. Um, I've, ho I've had a bunch of the Mako ones forever. I, gra I grab, always grab two of them because I'll end up using the hell out of this. And uh, I have their other Mag Dish, which is the square one that kind of connects. Um, but I saw these and I said, you know, these will be the magnetic on the bottom. These will be, uh, uh, definitely get a lot of use out of me, um, all the time. I use mag dishes everywhere. So, um, yeah, two, two of them, the part number on these are mag dish 10. If you got a snap on deal, let them know. The part on the wrench is a OEX M 27 OB, um, it is not flank drive plus because they don't have them in this size. This flank drive plus is only, I believe, up to 25. Yeah, so that's that stuff. Snap on. Um, next up, we got a Mako tool haul. Um, I grabbed an extra long quarter inch flex head with the blue handle. Um, just, I've been wanting to get one for a long time. I have one from Snap on a little shorter, but I wanted one that was real long just to get those hard to reach spots and um this works you know next and then i got the titanium blue step bits from mako um the foam is not they didn't come in the foam they come in a little plastic pack but like a clamshell so i grabbed uh this was actually part of this set which came in a ridiculously wide box for some strange reason so what i did was I just pulled the top piece off and transferred the bottom foam that was in the top to this. So these are the extra long burr bits. Lifetime warranty from Matco. Four piece sets on sale right now. I believe it was 206 for this. These I don't remember the price. I just kind of grabbed them. But I took the foam out of this set and made this so I have a holder for them in my draw. But yeah, that's the, that's the tool haul. Um, as you can see, guys, I've been just busy out here in the shop getting it. You know, my rat faint clock. A little messy today, but you know we got we got some work on the lifts. We got some work out here in the front. Little Volvo. We did a turbo on that, and uh, it's got some other issues. I believe whoever worked on it before me put the timing back wrong, and it's off a little bit. Um, this car here, we got subframe. Subframe rotted on the uh, original, which is right there. New subframes in already. Um, gonna be putting the rear differential and the spindles and everything back together this will be tomorrow that'll be out of here um as you can see that's the the mess from today you know and the shop press shout out to my guy dale he hooked me up with that um what else we got we got we got the big jeep over there that thing is uh that big jeep over there that's an insurance job for a rear end the rear end got smacked and then we got a good one coming up, actually. I may make this one that's coming up a uh, a series video. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. We got a old 3 Series E30. I believe you want E32 or whatever the fuck it's called. We got an E Series, okay? It's a 330Ci, two-door. And the customer got into an accident front end. I may make this a series. This may be my first series video. 
it needs a whole bunch of front end work cross member um radiator support so uh i'm i may shoot me a, shoot me the comments down in the in the uh shoot shoot some comments down there if you're interested in seeing maybe a series video on that car because that car is going to be here for a little bit doing some work um i'm trying to make more content it's just real hard man i'm i'm by myself working and you know the days the days i'm trying not to make them any longer than they already are but let me know what you guys think of the tool haul i'm trying to think if there's anything else i picked up earlier this week i buy so much tools man i forget and man it it, it uh i know i bought something else i just can't remember <laughs> that's that's usually how it works you know you just buy tools buy tools buy tools use tools and and uh you know make a living with them um but yeah like i said guys uh this is your boy scuba thanks for tuning in if you tuned in if you didn't tune in i understand maybe i'll catch you on the next one you know maybe we could build off of that um but y'all keep y'all have a great week stay blessed stay unstressed just work get money Take care of your family. Whatever you got to do, do it. Um, I'll be here turning wrenches. Keep turning them wrenches, you know? I can't wait. I got to hang up. I got some signage. I'm going to get some more signage going up. I know I got my metal signs. I got to get hung up. You know, if you watch my other video, you can see I got some metal signs. I got to gotta get these up on the wall. Probably going to put them right there. Probably this one here. My snap on the one up top above it, you know, up there. So I got to get those in the brick. Um, what else I got to do? Oh, I got I got the uh, the air reel, the snap on air reel down there. I'm gonna mount that bad boy right here because I got a little Dewalt compressor. Does the job, man. Gets me 150 psi. That's all I need. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. That's that's all. Just cleaning up for the end of the day. As you can see, my day's over. In my little work area. Getting ready to expand, put another lift. It's coming, you know? But to everybody out there, keep turning them wrenches. Um, thanks for stopping by. Again, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. All that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, scuba.